the best landing spots for Allen Robinson. So today, right now in this video, we are, first of all, we came up with six teams that we think Allen can really take to on a playoff run. Mm -hmm. um, in this video, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the New England Patriots, another weapon for Cam, the Philadelphia Eagles, some diversity in their offense, mm -hmm. and lastly, the Seattle Seahawks, a cherry on top of an explosive offense. Dylan, we're starting off with the New England Patriots. Let the people know what Allen Robinson will bring to New England. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews and Simone. Jalen Mills is somebody that I get behind. I'm not even going to cap on DeAndre Hopkins. He has the best hands in the league. Play it through it. Stayed hurt and play through it. it. Hobbling exactly. on back to the field. Right. I'm saying, when you, when you, one of the best teams out there, you know, the other teams division, I ain't got no choice but to try and get like you. You dig? So, um, so let's get right into the video. Let's go. What's up? What's up guys? Welcome back to another video with Simone. And your boy Dylan, Yeller. Go ahead and jump in the comments. Go ahead and like and subscribe because you already know I'm trying to get 500 subscribers by the end of the month. And I'm trying to get 300 by the end of the month. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, you dig? So guys, there is a wide receiver on the trading block. <laughs> Possibly could be up for a trade. We all know this season is already starting off with a bang and a big trade will make it even more spicier. That's big facts. So he didn't formally request a trade, but we all know by now, Allen Robinson wants out of Chicago. He unfollowed the team on social media. <laughs> and um, after false reports that got out that he has um, requested a trade, he did not formally request a trade. His agent came out and said that, and Allen Robinson was still behind that. But obviously there is unrest in Chicago. So of course you know your favorite analysts, your favorite sports personalities, your favorite show in Tough Calls yes. has to bring you guys the best landing spots for Allen Robinson. So today, right now in this video, we are, first of all we came up with six teams that we think Allen can really take to on a playoff run. Mm -hmm. um, in this video Maybe. we're going to talk about the New England Patriots, another weapon for Cam the Philadelphia Eagles, some diversity in their offense, mm -hmm. and lastly, the Seattle Seahawks, a cherry on top of an explosive offense. Dylan, we're starting off with the New England Patriots. Let the people know what Allen Robinson will bring to New England. So these are some things Allen Robinson will bring to New England. First and foremost, Allen Robinson last season, 98 receptions, over 1,000 yards, 1,147 yards, seven touchdowns, so the production is there. 26 contested catches most last year. So he is obviously good when the defender is on him. He's going to go up high point and like bring that. that guy down. That's right. He's he going to put that body into you. Dang, boy. You ain't doing I'm Allen Robinson. Okay, Allen Robinson. Dang, trying to dope my shoulder that way. We got to tell him what he brings. That's what he brings. He put that shoulder into you that right. See, I ain't got to do it that hard. Just show the people put a little shoulder. You got to a go boom. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's keep it moving, guys. Might be injured next to a Man, he'll read them stats. Or something. Anyways, since entering the league, only 62% of Allen Robinson's targets have been deemed catchable. Wow. What is that rank? 95th out of 100 qualifiers. Wow. Who had the most deep targets last week in week one? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Allen Robinson, who was number two, Deshaun Jackson for her Philadelphia Eagles. I got more. He had 26 first down conversions last season on third down. That is tied for second in the NFL. Third highest graded wide receiver on contested targets last season at 92.7. Again, he's going to get that ball whether the defender is there or not. Okay, kill you. And lastly, this is the cherry on top for Alice Robinson being a beast out there. This is the list of quarterbacks and their grade and ranks that Allen Robinson has had to catch passes from in the NFL since 2014. Are you ready for this list? Mitchell Trubisky, 66.1 grade, Ooh, that's the 44th rank. Chase Daniel, 65.1, that's good for 48th. Yeah, yeah. You think it gets better? No, it gets worse. Worse Blake, than Mitch? Blake Bortles, 
60.8, that's 58. And last but not least, <laughs> he came into the NFL catching passes from Chad Hitty. 45.3 grade. Now, that's Alan, 99. I can see exactly why you went out of Chicago. That's 99. Yeah, so, yeah. It's about time he, you know, upgrades. So let's jump into our teams. We're starting with the New England Patriots. We all know Cam can use a big body receiver. Cam had two rushing touchdowns yep. um, in week one. But good and bad thing, we don't want to see Cam having to be as, you know, taking as many hits because we all know Cam is coming in injury prone. If he has a bigger guy with a, a bigger wide receiver target, that will be good for him, um, good for the Patriots. So go and just tell the people what he would bring to the league. So, obviously, Cam already loves his big wide receivers. He made Kelvin Benjamin, who is now kind of a bum, he made him look like a Pro Bowl wide receiver mm -hmm. back when they were in Carolina together. But Cam Newton, he just needs some more targets. Only had 155 passing yards in week one um, with the Dolphins. And like Simone said, you don't want to run Cam into the ground. So, mm -hmm. get him some more targets. And they already got Nikhil Henry, um, Nikhil Harris, excuse me, and Julian Edelman. Uh, Nikhil Harry, sorry, um, and Julian Edelman. Those two combined for eight catches for 96 yards in week one. That was over half the Patriots passing game. So you can't just favor those two. It's good to have those two guys, but getting a third would really round out the offense and really round out um, the um, passing game for Cam Newton and the Patriots. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely could see that, especially, you know, the Patriots had so many opt-outs. Um, Cam coming in with a lot of questions definitely proved his worth in week one, but seeing them make a big splash, um, solidifying, you know, a raw receiver of Allen's caliber would just really show, hey, we're not just playing around. We're here to win. Um, another team that needs to be here to win now is my <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles. Um, we explore the option of Allen Robinson going to the Eagles. And we think it's going to be a great fit. Obviously, the Eagles lost um, Marquise Goodwin um, to, you know, he opted out because of the coronavirus. Um, Alshon Jeffrey, um, our latest, most reliable wide out. He's definitely injury prone and he's been injury prone since we've had him. And, you know, injuries is something that we are battling and we need stability and we need depth. Um, yes, Carson has some new receivers. Um, he was one for four though with Jalen Rager in week one, but we all know, of course, rookie. Um, he was two for seven with Deshaun Jackson though. And we have a lot of speedy guys, yes, but we can definitely bulk up when it comes to a big wide out position. We know we can run down the field, but when that running down the field is not an option for us, will we be able to have someone in the clutch, um, a big guy? So Dylan, talk about what he might bring to the Eagles and how he will diversify our offensive options. So. We all know Carson Wentz, as Simone said, loves his big targets and he loves throwing to the tight ends. Well, that gets predictable every now and again. Um, just look at it last year. Really, you can go back and we'll go back to last week, then to last year. So um, the Eagles um, last last week threw to Dallas Goddard. Um, Dallas Goddard had uh, eight of the, he caught eight of his nine targets for 101 yards and a touchdown. Um, but as Simone said, only one to four to Jalen Rager, two out of seven to Deshaun Jackson. So, last season, Carson Wentz relied heavily on his tight ends. Zach Ertz last week had three uh, seven targets, three reception, 18 yards, and a touchdown. Last season, though, Zach Ertz had 135 targets. That's second in the league amongst tight ends, 12th overall. 12th overall. Wide receivers, tight ends, running backs, all of them, 12th overall in targets. He had 88 receptions, 916 yards, and six touchdowns. Dallas Goddard last year had 87 targets. That's ninth in the league among tight ends. 58 receptions, 607 yards, five touchdowns. He loves to throw to his tight ends. But again, you can game plan for that. That gets predictable. You got to have other weapons. You got to have other guys you can rely on. Allen Robinson is that guy. He can catch in, uh, in contested areas. He, you can throw it to him at a tight window. So Carson, you could just how you love throwing it up to Alshon, you can throw it up to Alice and he gonna catch it for you, baby. It's a, it's a match made in heaven for a team that needs another receiver. A reliable guy played all 16 games last year match made in heaven for the Eagles. And someone who's itching, itching, itching to win like Allen is. Um, lastly, let's talk about 
the Seattle Seahawks. So we know the Seattle Seahawks made a splash move um, in free agency, making that trade for Jamal Adams, who definitely proved his worth in week one. Also, Russell Wilson doesn't need that many targets because he is that guy, but him and Tyler Lockett have been having fun so far this season. Just talk about what a cherry on top adding Allen Robinson to his offensive arsenal would be for the Seattle Seahawks fans. So, Simone, you touched on it. Russell Wilson has already gotten off to a great start, 31 to 35. Um, him and Tyler Lock and DK Metcalf tore my Falcons up last week. Um, they combined for 12 catches, 170 yards, 187 yards, and a touchdown. Um, no other Seahawk receiver had over 30 yards, so you add Allen Robinson to that mix. And Russell Wilson in that receiving core, that, that's a hard group to stop. Um, and also, the Seattle Seahawks have always had the identity of being wanting to run the football first. So, the Falcons knew that coming into week one last week. So, we managed, we played uh, against pretty much trying to stop the run. That was the Falcons' game plan. We did that. We um, only allowed them 84 rushing yards. But, obviously, Russell Wilson was able to get off on a young backfield the Falcons have. Um, so, even though, but not all the teams you face against which you get in the playoffs, things that nature face other teams, not all the teams are going to have young backfields. So, Russ Wilson may not have the day he had against the Atlanta Falcons last week. So, adding that other guy, Allen Robinson, opens things up in the passing game, which, if your passing game is going, teams are going to have to start, against, start game planning up against that. Defense can't play as heavily up against the run like the Falcons were able to last week. So, you open up, you add Al Robinson to the pass game, make that more dangerous. Well, the defense has to respect the passing game more, which takes away some game planning for the running game. Maybe you get the running game going more, and now you become a completely more balanced team. And if the Seahawks become a balanced team with that revamp defense with Jamal Adams, who was an X factor in week one, that's a complete team right there. If you add Allen Robinson, that is a Super Bowl type of move if the Seahawks make um, make it to get Al Robinson. That's a fact. So we gave you three teams just now who can definitely upgrade and benefit from adding Allen Robinson. Who's only 27 years old, definitely in his prime. He's got a kind of sticky situation with his contract because he was hurt when it was time for him to get his first extension. Um, so he only got the three year extension because they were kind of trying to figure out is he going to be healthy. He also wanted to prove himself. But he is a younger guy going into his third contract year just because his second contract year was shorter. Um, but he's in his prime, very young guy, very proven with the busted quarterbacks that we said he had to play with. Um, so let us know which one of these three teams do you think Allen Robinson would fit the best with? The Philadelphia Eagles, the Seattle Seahawks, or the New England Patriots? And also drop in the comments and let us know another team if you think that he belongs on another roster. But go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and comment and go ahead and subscribe. And stay period. tapped into Tough Calls because you already know we the best out. Just period. Point blank period. We the best out. We top five or top two, but we, we ain't two. two. Top two, but not two. Exactly. Bye. Bye.